Everybody, this is uh, Jim at SP500Chart.com. It's a few minutes before 7 o'clock on Sunday evening, January 5th, 2020. We're going to take a look at what happened this past week. Again, I remind you, it was a short week uh, due to the New Year's uh, holiday. So we got four days to look at. And we'll look at them after I remind you that the website and the video are for educational purposes only. Nothing stated at the site or in the video is intended to be used as investment advice. I control lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research and make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I am not a licensed financial professional. I'm just a guy who draws lines on charts. So let's take a look. Starting out here on a 30-minute chart, um, a couple of things just to remind you, you probably know already, this is the neckline to the really, really, really big inverted head and shoulders pattern. I'm talking about the one that's got our target way up there at about 3,840. Uh, we also have a channel that we sort of refined this week between this dark green line and this dark green line. But there's another little support line right here as well, and that is a little different because it goes, well, it's real different here <laughs> because it jumped all over creation. Hold on just a second. Oh, I remember what that was. That was drawn as a parallel to this line right here. Remember how sometimes we talk about how the markets would just kind of change uh, lanes, still keep the general, uh, still keep the general direction of the road, but will slide right and then continue on up. That's what that is. So I don't know. I, I thought it was. Uh, maybe a little bit more trustworthy than that. We'll see. If we tag it and we bounce, then I'll say I'm a genius. If not, then I'll say it's not important. The fact of the matter is, we got room to see some down days. We got room to see a down week. We've got room as long as we stay above this neckline and also, uh, I think, this rising red trend line right here. And that's significantly under where we are right now. I looked at the futures just a few minutes ago, and uh, it looks like if, if the markets were to open right now, which they're not, it would be about 03 to 0.4% down. So if they were to open now, we would probably take out this line of support. And again, uh, that, that wouldn't surprise me if we did that tomorrow. Um, obviously, I would like to see us just keep trucking on up as we have done pretty well here since uh, the beginning of December. But the fact of the matter is, we know that can't always happen. So, here's where we are. Again, short week. Where we are is we are once again reminding ourselves that we have an upwards bias to this market based upon those two inverted head and shoulders patterns that we've talked about at great length. This first one is right here. There's the left shoulder, the inverted head, the right shoulder. Breakout got under the neckline a little bit, recovered, went sideways for five, five months or so. Then we started to break out above this neckline. <clears throat> With that said, um, it's possible that we could see sort of the same kind of dynamics go on with this line that we saw here. So I'm just, I'm just saying it's going to take some real significant uh, weakness for, for me to uh, abandon our 3370 target and, of course, the 3840 target up here so and and so I, I'm just not uh, I'm not that worried right now about anything even though there's been some uh, political events and uh, geopolitical uh, wrangling in the Middle East um, you know that stuff happens and the fact of the matter is you got to give 
the bull market a little something to worry about because what do they say? Well, bull markets climb a wall of worry. And you can look back over the past 10 years and probably rattle off eight to 10 things that people thought were gonna put an end to this run. And each and, every, each and every single one of them, instead of putting an end to it, actually just sort of formed another foothold for the market to climb even higher. So, you know, I, I think emotionally that's what's going on right now. So let's just keep watching it this week. Uh, if you are a weekly subscriber, thank you. Uh, excuse me, not a weekly, a daily subscriber. Thank you. That way you get to see a video after every day's close. If not, well, then you get to see this weekly wrap up. But uh, you miss out on a few things that we pointed out during the week. But hey, that's your call. So anyway, hey, thanks for taking time out of your uh, weekend to watch this. And as always, thanks for your very kind support. Take care.